So here's some advice on why you should always communicate uh, any grand idea with your business manager in the district office and your principal and office secretaries. So I'm part of uh, my district's tech committee. In that tech committee, we decided to uh, implement a one-to-one -one model in our middle school. So the middle school teachers, we got together and we, we put a, a plan for how we would have kids use uh, devices that they carry around with them all the time and take home. Uh, we were running a bond that year, so the plan was to run a tech levy the next year to fund this one-to-one -one program. Well, the bond failed. So now we had to push the bond till next year to rerun it, which is this current year we're on now. And that would have pushed the levy back another year, but that was going to run into a capital levy uh, year. So now we're looking at three years out, maybe more, before we can implement this one-to-one. -one. Well, as a classroom teacher, I'm looking at my sixth graders thinking, they're going to be in high school before they, we can prepare them for their future. Uh, so I was racking my brain wondering, what are we going to do? We hire this new teacher, and she says, hey, have you thought of doing a donors choose or a Kickstarter? Well, I said, let's look into it. Donors choose is really hard because they, you can't ask for that much money. And on my account, I had used up my points on, on projects that didn't get funded, so scratch that one. I looked at kickstarter.com. Well, you can only ask for so much money, and if you don't raise it all, you keep none. So I thought, let's not go with that one. But there's Indiegogo. It was great. You can ask for as much money as you want, and you keep everything you get, even if you don't reach your target. Well, we were looking at over $75,000 to equip every single kid in the middle school. So I start typing that up, and in my mind, I thought, I'm sharing this with my principal because I added him as a contributor. In retrospect, I should have followed that up with maybe an email. Um, so I went ahead with it, and I'm looking at timeline. This was September, the start of the school year. Our bond was going on the ballot in February. I'm thinking if we wait until after the bond, if it passes, people might think, I just approved this, now you want more money? Uh -uh. If it fails, people are going to say, I just told you no, and you're asking me for money again. None of these scenarios seem to work for me. Plus, it was end of the year if we do got, uh, get any money. So I'm thinking, I better run it now before this bond starts getting in everybody's uh, radar. So I did, I pushed launch, it was that easy. And I start promoting it on Facebook, on Twitter, I'm emailing everybody in the district, hey, let's share this with everyone you know, because I think if you can find people who have a lot of money, they might fund this. Well, so I get an email and a call from the principal saying, um, Al, what's going on here? I'm getting emails from the other principals saying, why are we being asked to promote something that the middle school is doing? What's going on here? I get an email from the district business manager saying, what are you doing here? We don't have a budget code for this. Our admin secretary is going crazy looking up how do we accept these funds. Here I was thinking, schools accept donations all the time. This is going to be easy. People use their PayPal, their credit card, and then in, it goes right from Indiegogo into your bank account. Turns out it's not that easy. Our admin secretary tells me, this is unprecedented. Only one school I could find had tried it, and they couldn't get it to work. And I had already launched it, so it was already in the running. Well, it took about the whole, almost the full two months that the campaign was going before they all worked really hard and figured out, OK, here's the bank account. I put in the bank account. We got the money. Uh, so many headaches I caused for all these people. I I'm learning this the hard way. You have to communicate with your district, especially your business manager, and your office secretary and principal. Now, did this turn out OK? Well, we raised about $245 on the campaign. Uh, after Indiegogo took out their fees, not even enough to buy one device. But good news, other people heard about it. One of my students' parents said, hey, I got the Washington State Troopers Association to donate $900. Here's a check. Uh, a foundation, a local foundation to us said, hey, Al, what's this project you're working on? And I said, well, here, here's the plan. They wrote a $1,000 check. So Indiegogo requires you to have backup plans in case you don't get all the money so investors will still fund. My backup plan was, if I can't get a computer for every kid, I'll take whatever computers I can get, get a small group of kids, make them a tech support group. We meet after school, and these kids learn how to use these devices to learn. And when we do become a one-to-one -one school, they're going to help their teachers and fellow students use their devices. Well, 
I now have eight devices. I've got a group going meeting after school and it's going really well. One thing though, don't make it an ASB club because ASB funds can't be used for curriculum. So they can't use their computers in class. So we had to make this an after school group, not a club. So bottom line, always communicate with your business manager, your secretaries, your principal, and maybe even your ASB uh, advisor.